Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using the Ultimate Universe mod 2.2 and the 11 mod. And one of you wanted to see, this is actually pretty old, uh, suggestion, I believe. You wanted to see an Armored Wells class go up against five uh, enemy Borg fleets with one Federation fleet assisting us. So here I have the Armored Wells class. I tried to... Ooh, I can actually... Wait. What can I refit on this thing? Browse fleet. Can I refit anything else? Uh, look, it says I can refit or I can upgrade the engines, weapons, and sensors. So, refit... Um... Weapons, sensors, uh, the, the boxes aren't really here, they're sort of on the edge of the screen, I'm not sure if any of that worked. Um, but, going back to Brown's fleet, uh, this is the ship. Uh, by the way, there's also a, a regular version, just the normal Wells class, but no one ever wants to see that for some reason. Um, so, yeah, Armored Wells class can hit engage, we are at the JC Expanse, fighting our five Borg fleets, and we have the one Federation fleet in gray, or maybe that's white, uh, assisting us. Uh, I put them on AI hard, and I put all of the Borg on AI medium, because that's a lot of Borg. And, uh, well, maybe I'll put this one on AI hard, just, just for fun. Just for entertainment purposes. I don't know how long I'll survive. I've forgotten how powerful the ship is. I remember it's fairly powerful. It's a decently uh, armed vessel. But I don't know if we can take out five Borg fleets. Let's just warp right straight in, into this one. What could possibly go wrong? Just right in the middle of them. Actually, let's go a little bit, a little bit in front. Because they're moving toward me. At the same time I'm moving toward them. There we go. We're going to end up right next to the big scary tactical cube. Wow, those those weapons do damage. Love that sound. If only Federation phasers are as powerful as this. Alrighty, let's uh Whoa! Torpedoes! Maybe I should have put them all on uh, AI hard, because man, these are really easy to, de to uh, defeat. We have barely taken any damage, a few things have gotten slightly uh, hit by enemy weapons fire, but really no noticeable damage. Where's the nit? Okay, we took out this whole thing. Okay, let's just warp. There is an obelisk, right here. He thinks he can destroy me with his torpedoes. You, sir, are wrong. Yes, you are the Borg, but you're soon to not be the Borg. Can I please fire my aft torpedoes? No, I can't. Okay, well, whatever you want to do. Front ones still work. And he should be dead now. Yep. I can predict the future. Okay, we are still repairing the hull of all things. I mean, it didn't even look like it had taken any damage, but we're still repairing it. Let's warp just a teeny bit. We should be in weapons range. Come on. There we go, one more good hit should take out this cube, it has not even returned fire. Nor will it... I was gonna say nor will it get the chance, but obviously it just did. Assimilation <clears throat> is inevitable. I highly doubt that my assimilation is inevitable. Considering from the way things are going, yeah, I'm not gonna be assimilated today. Unless they have some sort of... I don't know, some new type of cube I haven't seen before, but I don't think they have anything. Not even the first contact cube could defeat me. Oh, they are still fighting us here. Let me take a little bit of that load off the Federation fleet. Can I stop repairing this? That, that's just stupid at this point. Alright, wait for it. Wait for it. And fire. Just spam the torpedoes. I ran out of energy. 
All right, that's probably enough. Is it? Oh, let's just, there we go, finish him off. Next target is a rectangle. Yeah, apparently the Borg are no threat. Let me target specifically, ah, uh, there, AI hard rectangle. Let's see how tough this nut is to crack. And still no real resistance to my weapons. They are trying, though. They tried to shoot me with torpedoes. They completely missed, and then they exploded. Um, but they at least tried to return fire. Come on, tip the nose up just a little bit, or, or not. <laughs> well, apparently this is all you need to defeat the Borg, or just one good armored wells class, and, uh, who needs any other ship? This thing could take out the entire collective. And you know, one thing I kind of wish that was uh, implemented into this uh, game was the way that the Borg adapt to phasers. Like, you know how the Enterprise, you know, it shot the Borg cube in that one TNG episode, and then it shot it again, and they were immune to phaser fire? Or how the Borg drones, you know, you'll shoot them, and then they'll adapt to your frequency settings. And you know, that also reminds me, why don't... Why doesn't Starfleet just use conventional bullets, you know, when it comes to shooting the Borg? I mean, sure, they have energy shields around their um, uh, drones, you know, the, the Borg in the ships, but I mean, one good bullet, I mean, their shields are not going to stop a bullet unless uh, they uh, have some sort of technology for that. It doesn't look like it to me. It looks like they, they just have uh, energy shielding. But uh, anyway, yeah, I kind of wonder why a lot of times... They don't use conventional, or at least more conventional, weapons in Star Trek. Anyways, I'm rambling on about stuff that probably isn't important. So, uh, that battle took just under four and a half minutes. Uh, we got seven kills with that Armored Wells class. Uh, clearly, the Borg need to work on their uh, tactical skills. Uh, the AI Hard Borg, however, uh, got... Yeah, they, no, I was looking at our allies. They got five kills as well. So the Federation is really good at killing the Borg. And the Borg are not really good at killing anything because neither of our fleets, uh, neither of our allied fleets anyway, lost any ships. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this battle with the Borg. It was kind of easy, but I, I underestimated the power of the Armored Wells class. Clearly it's more powerful than I anticipated and I will have to use it more in the future because I don't use it that often and it looks cool and it can really... Uh, devastate the enemy, so I will try to use that more often in the next videos that I do. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more, because there is more of this every single day, except on, you know, Sundays when I decide I want to do Star Trek Armada, then that comes out. My phone has not stopped buzzing the whole time. Um, if you guys did not like uh, this video, however, I do apologize for that, and I ask, I beg you, well, I, I I don't beg you, but I ask that you leave a comment in the comments section and tell me what it is that I can do to improve the quality of the next videos that I make so that hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy them. And uh, my, my goal is to attain perfection in all the videos that I do. Not really, my goal is to have fun. And as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos because I do have a list of all of your guys' suggestions. It, it's not full right now, I still have to update it with newer suggestions, but I, I put them all in there and I go through the ones that I'm gonna do and then I cross them off when I'm done and sometimes I'll come across a suggestion and I'll think, oh, it's pretty cool, I'll put it in the list and then I'll look at it and I'll be like, wait a minute, I can't do this. This tells me to give the enemy a specific type of ship. I don't know how to do that. So usually I'll go to you and tell you that, hey, I don't know how to do this. I'm sorry, this video won't be coming out. But uh, other times I'll, I'll forget and I'll just remove it from the list and I'll forget to let you know. I'll try to, uh, in the future, let you guys know when I can't do one of your suggestions because some of them I just have no means of doing. I don't know how to set it up. So I'll try to let you know if that happens. Um, but if you want to see something, please put it in the comment section. I will read it. So I think I've rambled on enough. As always, I am Foxtrot Delta. And I will see you next time.